Hey, what's going on y'all? It's King Rancher 13. Welcome back to another video. Today is really, 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 really hot. Always got a heat advisor going on, especially around this time of year. Got my boy Cooper Stowe. Baseboard cutting master. So what today's video is about is putting something on a King Ranch 2018 F-150 King Ranch. If you haven't seen the video of where we got this truck for my mom and dad, check it out right here. Before we get going, we're gonna make sure that there's not already a bed cover on it. As you saw in the last video, we had a little installation fail. Okay, check. There's no bed cover, so we're good to go. Real quick, before we get going, thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe. As always, if you haven't already, comment down below and let me know what you think of the installation and let me know what you think about all the videos. We're gonna install this bed cover. We went with a bed cover for this truck instead of like a camper shell or anything like that, just because camper shell is really expensive, number two. Wanted something that can be always like moved and rolled out of the way, so the one that we got is a soft cover um, that you can roll all the way to the front. That way you have access to the whole bed for cargo or whatever else you might be using. My dad's always mentioned like that he really liked his cargo van and, and like uh, some of his longer SUVs that he's had because it's always out of the elements and rain and stuff like that. So went ahead and got him this deal because I couldn't put the leveling kit on there for him the other day. So this is a five and a half foot bed, which we got bedlined a couple of videos before this. It's got like a rail system that's gonna set on the inside here and here. That's gonna be able to have the bed cover Velcro down so that you know air, moisture and stuff like that can try to stay out of inside the bed so that nothing in the bed gets wet. So we'll, we'll do a little hose test when we get done with it. That way we can see where there may be potential leaks or anything like that. I don't know of anyone that's got a completely waterproof bed system. There's always gonna be somewhere where unfortunate water gets in, but you can always do the best you can. So this is the box that it's in. And this is the kind of soft cover there on the parts. Um, this is a Tono Sport. So it's kind of like an off-brand one. I don't really sell these unless you're maybe local. Yeah, I don't think it should be too bad putting this in. Oh, I see it leaking yeah, the front. From the
water out. So that's that's the main deal. I mean, it worked. Cheaper one, I think it was like 300 or something like that. These can get up to like 2,000, 1,500, 2,000 easily. But anyways, this is the end of this video. Uh, hopefully y'all just enjoyed a little bit of that. Uh, the next video we're gonna have is gonna be showing some of the machines back there. Um, and then also putting in our uh, two post lift hopefully here in the next week to two weeks um, depending on uh, depending on how much time I've got. So <laughs> hopefully you all enjoyed that. Please make sure to like this video and comment down below and let me know does your bed cover ever leak? And if so, what do you have? Or if yours doesn't leak, what do you have? Thanks guys, take care.